If you were to watch mainstream media, you wouldn't know that there have been farmer protests throughout the world for the past few months. That's been a theme. It's been a theme throughout, like, almost every European country. Yet mainstream media has reported zero on this. They have been tearing up streets. They have been spewing absolute disgusting manure at, the, at cities, at capital, sit, capital buildings throughout Europe. You haven't heard a word about it. Tens of thousands of farmers taking the streets, stopping cities. Literally, you couldn't drive from all the tractors in there. You haven't heard anything about it. Why? Well, it's unclear because, again, we don't know anything about it. We've seen some videos on social media. We've heard some stuff. But no one's doing a deep dive on why it's actually happening. Do you know why it's happening? You probably didn't even know it was happening. If you knew you had to maybe the, the faintest, foggiest notion of something, maybe. The truth is simple. If you actually look, take a deep dive for a second, and you realize that they try to do what they're doing to the United States right now, which is make it untenable for farmers to actually make a living throwing things. There was some social justice or climate whatever thing and so the farmers had to capitulate to their demands and make everything sustainable or whatever it is i don't know you know doesn't every country did a different thing but they're all the same thing making everything more expensive and then they put subsidies on it to make it that the farmers didn't get charged extra that the farmers still made the same but they were more equitable and more climate friendly and more whatever and then they removed all the subsidies now the farmers are saying, we're about to go out of business. Is that what you want? And then they're all like, yeah, that's what we want. And so now the farmers are protesting because how can you do this to us? You're taking away our subsidies and you're forcing us to be more expensive, right? Everything has to meet cost more, has to now cost more because of whatever it is that they have to do, whether it's climate or it's equity or it's sustainability or you know, all the garbage. It took a while without the mainstream media reporting on this even a little bit, the governments are starting to capitulate to the farmers' demands because they were tearing up the streets and they were spaying with north at the Capitol buildings and stopping traffic like the entire year of Berlin. It works. It worked. And mainstream media had nothing to do with it whatsoever. It was all grassroots people on the ground looking at their phones and videoing kind of amazing. It's also kind of amazing that mainstream media was ignored such a big story that went on for months. So here we are reporting on it. Good luck farmers. Go. It's not looking good. Well, it's not looking good for the United States. Bill Gates has bought up like what 60% of farmland, 30% of farmland. He's trying to buy up as much farmland as possible so we can't go anything anymore. And we're going to be beholden to him. Gonna be messy, but look at what they did. They tore up the streets. We can do that too. We have tractors. Some of us even have tanks. So I think America's looking pretty good.